in this video, I will show you about the expanded widget. Let's start this by going inside the third page. And in this one, we will go uh, on the code as well. We will replace the center widget by a column widget like this. Inside, if you remember, we add the argument children to put multiple widgets inside. And then the first one can be the expanded. So we use expanded widget like this. And inside this uh, child, we will replace the null by a widget that we know, the container. And after that, inside we can add a color for this container, color argument with colors.red by example. And I will put the comma and format document. That's good. So as you can see, the expanded take as much uh, possible place. So after we can add another expanded right under this one, I will put the comma, put the expanded widget. So we have two expanded widget inside the children of the row. Now we will change the color of this one for blue. And as you can see, it take as much possible place this one as well. So that is pretty cool. We can add an, a third one for sure. And this one may be green. So let's add this one green and we can see that there is uh, the three of them are taking as much possible and we can add an argument that we already know that we have used inside the spacer widget and it is the flex argument. So if you remember about this one, if we put two on the red, it will take two time more place of the other expanded. And we can use the flex on this one as well for three. So it will take much place than the red one. So the expanded widget is very nice to use. We can use it as well inside a row, by example. If we add a row a widget inside our children, then we can add the argument children. And after that, we can add our expanded inside this one. So I will copy one of them and I will put the comma after the row. I will form map document. Inside this children, I will add two of them. So one and two, maybe three, let's say three. So we add three of them, we format document. Here we go. And now what we have is we have a, con a column with the expanded a row with expanded widget inside, but we are not seeing this expanded. And this is because we will need to have a height for our container. Because right now, the three of them, so uh, the blue, no, so the blue, the green, and the red are taking as much possible place, and the row uh, is not set to any height value. So we can add maybe refactor, with a container and this container will have a certain height of 200. And now we can play with those widget. So this one have a blue, so they are all blue. So maybe this is why uh, we have had the problem. So this one will be orange and this one will be uh, purple. Here we go. And if we, we remove the height by example, just to see what happened, yeah, if we don't have the height, uh, this widget will disappear because the three of them, so the red, the blue and the green will take as much possible place and this one don't have any height. So we put back the height. We can see that we have learned how to use the expanded. I will put this one pink to make it a little bit nicer. We have learned about the expanded inside a row, inside a column, and this widget is very, very important when we code with Flutter. So that's it for this one, and see you on the next video. Bye.